morning everyone good morning here we are in the car on our way to the beaches and look at the stunning view we have today there's hardly no wind so it's going to be a very very warm and sunny day so we are going to uh, explore a little bit <laughs> and uh, we got a few hints from uh, from uh, the hotel and from different contacts for nice beaches which we will uh, try and we will report but uh, now we have to drive through the whole island which is about 30 30 kilometers and uh, yeah and look at Marty's new haircut he got yesterday from the most beautiful hairdresser located on top of the rocks. She, I think she did really an amazing Over there. Job. Over there. So that little island over there which you can see it's called Niguria and it's an uninhabited island and this beach down there is called Agios Pavios and it looks like Pavlos. Pavlos looks very beautiful so let's see how it looks in real when we arrive there. So this beach is actually not so beautiful because it's very dirty there's a lot of plastic and pebbles. So here is a little bus stop, if it's a bus stop. Or it's a church stop. It's a church stop. At least it's very holy and I guess nothing will happen to you if you wait here. Maybe the Pope comes along. So now we are on our way to Muros Beach or Muros Bay. And it looks already quite stunning. I hope you can see it a little bit through the window. And we asked the guy where we hired the car which his name is Yannis. What is his favorite beach on the island? So he said, Moros Bay Beach. And then we asked the guy who's owning our pension, what is your favorite beach? And he said, Moros Beach. So definitely Moros Beach must be something. Before we're heading down to the beach, which is actually a small path you have to climb down, we have a small coffin. All the places actually in Amorgos are really calm and relaxing and a little bit maybe post hippie area. A lot of French tourists maybe because of the movie The Deep Blue. So they want to visit the location. But this island has a real nice charm due to the very uh, high rocky formations. And when you drive the street from Ringali or the road to, from Angali to Yali. I never, never learned how to spell this. To this beach, which is actually located in the middle of the island, it makes many sharp turns. And you saw it before in the movie we made while driving. You have so many spectacular views. So it's really worth renting a car uh, when you're on the island. You saw in the negotiation we paid 20 euros for the car per day. Uh, it's a little bit off season now, so in high season it might be more expensive but it's really uh, valuable and you will not regret it. Hello, look in camera. Look. sunbathing and reading and now we are going to Hora which is the capital or old capital of the island 
and actually on all these islands there's a Chora because the Chora Marty is a little bit exhausted from climbing up the rocks back to the car and as I was saying all the islands have a village called Chora and that used to be the capital of the islands it's mostly built in the center of the island on a higher location but not in Mykonos, yes. In Mykonos is everything a little different. And that was due to the protection of the attacks of the pirates and the history. So now we are on our way to Hora. So we just stopped at a little viewpoint and here you can see the backside of Hora with the beautiful windmills on top of that hill over there. And here you also have a beautiful view on the southeast part of Amorgos, northeast, north <laughs> which is uh, surrounded by water only. There are no or just a few beaches where you can swim. And down here you can see a little house. There are four or five cars parked very close by that house. Maybe some of you recognize which house this is. If you know the answer, write it into the comments. And this brings me also to the answer of the quiz from the last episode. And the answer is the foundation was a windmill foundation, of course. So here we are in the little village of Hora or in the Hora. We see small tavernas, pharmacy, and a church with two little domes, the bell tower. Very beautiful in this evening light. for a little restaurant and for all the Greek viewers please don't be upset with us they're looking for a pizza piatino but maybe they are not open yet there's a little supermarket How funny. there's a little cat on the tree it's just jumping up there Hello, look on camera. It's really amazing how many churches are. So there's one here and another one over there. And you can see there's another church where the bell is. And on this little square, there's another church at the end. And there's another one there. So this makes seven churches. Uh, in a hundred meters circle, quite amazing, so many churches. So there are cats everywhere, even in the wine leaves. I think they saw a bird. This is a pizzeria Petino, but they are closed. So we have to drink an aperitif until they open somewhere else. So, Pizzeria Petrino is now open. And according to the travel book, this is supposed to be the best pizzeria in Hora, or even on the island. The only one? The only one, yes. So we ordered pizza. pizza. Again, sorry to all the Greek followers, but after all this Greek food, we need a little bit of diversification. So, Marty ordered a pizza... <laughs> pizza surprise, and I, I, don't remember. I have a pizza prosciutto, and to start with, we have a salad. We will show you the pizza in a minute. So, we start with a, a Morgan salad, which looks like a... Greek salad actually with some feta cheese and carpers and tomatoes and cucumbers and what's really nice is we have some warm bread from the pizza oven so it sounds promising 
and bon appetit. So, and finally the pizza has arrived. Looks quite good. And this is Marty's pizza surprise. <laughs> and it's like really a nice little taverna because you have a view into this old street under this nice old great bush. So this was the second day in Amorgos and it was another wonderful day. So far we really can recommend this island. And Kalispera, hello. <laughs> and the Greeks and the locals are really, really super friendly here. And thank you again for watching this episode of our vlog. This was the way we saw Amorgos on day number two. Uh, don't forget to write the answer for the question in the commentary field. And if you like to, give us a thumb up and see you soon again. Good night.